In this video, I'm going to make creating Instagram ads very simple for you. Matter of fact, I'm going to take it step by step and show you everything that you need to know about creating Instagram ads right from the ads manager and how you can get good results creating these type of ads. Now, let's get straight into it. Welcome to this video. If you are a new subscriber or you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming to this video. Now, let me show you exactly all you need to know about creating Instagram ads right from the ads manager. So I'm going to dive straight right into my laptop and show you how this is done from my ads manager now if you do not know how to set up your account or get started with this i'm going to show you one of my videos right somewhere here you're going to see that video on how you can set up create your ad account and do everything now once you have watched that video and you've done that please we're going to start from the ads manager All right now when you get to the ads manager this is exactly how it looks like all you have to do is to click on the create button right now once you create the button there are different objectives that you can see here now when you want to create your instagram ads you have quite a lot of objectives to choose from right from the ads manager but what you need to ask yourself is that what am i trying to achieve with this particular ad it is very important that you ask yourself that question because this is what is going to determine the type of result you're going to get which also determines the type of objective you're going to use to get that result i hope you get what i'm saying clearly now there are a lot of objectives here awareness traffic engagement leads ad promotion and sales now when i want to run ads for awareness or to just do a visibility ad i use the engagement ad goal or the engagement ad objective when i want to run ads for visibility but when i want to run ads for sales i use the sales ad goal or sometimes also still use the engagement ad goal which i'll explain when we move on now let's start with running ads for basically awareness that you want to generate okay so let's say i want to generate awareness i'm going to click on the engagement ad click on continue and then I'm going to click the manual engagement campaign. You really want to choose the manual engagement campaign because this lets you create everything from start, right? Not following Meta's recommended settings, which can be to their own gain, okay? So let's click on the manual engagement campaign and then click continue, right? Remember that we're creating an Instagram ad right from start to finish, okay? So we have three stages. Now, every time that you create an ad, always remember that there are three stages to creating your ad number one stage is the campaign level right or the campaign stage the second stage is the ad set stage or the ad set level and the third one is the ad level so these three stages are what you would pass through when you're creating your ad it's always very important to understand uh, these stages so what are the campaign stage and basically what we do in the campaign stage is just to rename our campaign right at the top here which i'll just call a test campaign right here okay so once this is done the next thing you want to do is to come down and then you see now there's the a b test and the advantage campaign budget plus now these type of uh, options i'm not going to be using them in this video but i'll do another video to explain exactly how to use these options okay so click next now once you click next you are taken to the second level which is the yes the ad set level i'm sure you're following me great so the ad set level we're going to name this as well so we're calling it test ad set then we'll come here now when you are running the engagement campaign there are different options that you can achieve with the engagement campaign there's this called on your ad now this on your ad basically what it means is that you are running an ad that people would uh, you're running an ad using a video that people will interact with right so basically it's an awareness type of ad using a video I hope you get that clearly okay so now th that's the second option here now if i use the first option here which says messaging apps this basically means that i'm running an ad using either a post a carousel or a video that will take people to message me or that will make people send me message um which is um, a type of goal or a type of um, um option i use when i want to run ads for sales when i want to run ads for sales i use this option a lot and it really does give me good results so you can try this option when you're trying to run ads for sales okay so i'm going to go to the first the second one which is the one we're trying to do for this type, type of campaign now the engagement type is video views please use video views if your ad is going to run on instagram please use video views all right maximize for true play views please always maximize for true play views then you come down to your budget now for this type of ad this is like the cheapest type of ad that you can run so for this type of ad you most likely be spending any anywhere between two thousand and five thousand naira so let's leave it at three thousand naira daily budget okay so we set our end date now you can decide to set your end date meaning you're choosing when your advert should end this way you will not be able to exceed your budget or you will not be able to exceed what you have 
put in place for your ad to run. So it's usually good for you to do that. But I always like to manually turn off my ad myself. So I leave this untouched. Okay. So I move down, skip the budget scheduling, go to the location, the audience location. Now this audience location, one of the best things that you can do right now uh, for this audience location is to ensure that you don't target a lot of places, right? So what I do is rather than target the countries, I will target the states or the cities where I know that I can get good results. So for this one, Lagos and Abuja is what we're going to be using. Okay. Just as an example. Now I always leave it at between three to four uh, cities per campaign, right? If you want to target other cities, you can always create multiple campaigns that target other cities as well okay so what we move to is the advantage plus audience now this advantage plus audience is very very effective if you know how to use it so basically what you need to do is to click on the um audience suggestion optional just click on the plus sign there and then it takes you into this page where you will set your audience now you know this by default as a business owner already you're supposed to know this um know the 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 the, the ideal age range that you serve so i'm going to put, put this at 23 to 45 okay and then gender i'm going to choose women now this is depending on my type of business you can do the same for your type of business um depending on what yours is okay so detail targeting right here we're going to put in now this basically talks about the the interest, the people you want to target, what are they interested in? What are their behaviors? What are their demographics? This is what we're going to do here. So let's say I'm doing this for my type of business, which is an ad agency or a page management agency. So basically, I want to target people that have interest in people who are business owners, right? So let's start with business owners. So I'm going to just type in business owners there and look for something like small business owners, right? So you can see here, new active business, less than two months, 12 months. Let's, let's look at that. Okay, so and then click on suggestions. And then I can see a lot of, um, I mean, I can see a lot of interest here that, that works for my type of business. Okay, so um, small business owners, click on suggestions again. I can now target, um, say, um, entrepreneurship business page admins yeah okay facebook page admins small business okay so let's say these are like the targeting that i want to use for this type of ad okay so i've done that now the next thing i want to do is to come into placement and then click on the edit you see here by the side once you hover your mouse on it you see it by the side here so you can click on edit and then choose the manual placement manual placement now why do i say you choose manual placement because if you leave it at the advantage place plus placement it will use every placement which is the facebook audience network messenger and instagram and you don't want to use all these four why because when you have all these four turned on you cannot exactly place it to where your ad is actually getting results from so and most time your advert would be by default will be displayed to people on Facebook. You know why? Because Facebook is a platform that started before Instagram, meaning that Facebook has a lot more people than Instagram. So by default, your ad will tilt towards Facebook because it has the larger share of audience. So for you to get, and, and a lot of people believe that the, the quality audience, they are on Instagram, not on Facebook. Even though as, as, as a marketer or as an advertiser, I don't believe that. But it's what people say. So, I mean, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn off the Facebook audience network and the messenger. I'm going to turn that off and then leave just Instagram. By leaving just Instagram, that means I'm focusing this ad on Instagram. I don't want any other person from any other place. Okay. So once this is done, just come down and then click next. Right. So that takes us to the final stage of this ad. So if you're following us thus far, you've been following this video. Thank you so much. If you're not subscribed and you're following, it's a sin. So go and subscribe right away. And if you've done that already, give this video a thumbs up already. Okay. So that more people can see this video. So let's get back to it. So now this is the final, uh, final stage, which is the ad stage. So we're going to just call this the test ad, right? Test the ad. We'll call that test ad. Then we'll come to the identity. That's where your Facebook page should appear. If your Facebook page is not appearing there, then there's trouble. So I'm going to just click my own Facebook page right here. Okay. Then I put my Instagram account there, which is very important. Now, 
the ad setup here is the last part now for the ad setup you don't want to create an ad from start now i always tell people this when you use the create ad it would upload you would have to upload the video you want to use for your ad now when that ad starts and then the video starts getting engagement and all those things the engagement is going to be on that video right that video that particular video is what is going to have that engagement and that can affect once the ad has ended the engagement will not be will not have an impact on your page and you really don't want that so what i want you to do is to use an existing post then you come down to the ad creative and you select a post that is on your instagram page so i'm going to select this type of post here and then i'll just place it there so that way i would not i'll be sure that yes the type of uh the the the, the whatever engagement i get is going to impact or have impact on my page right so even after the advert is done the views and all those things will be intact on the page so it's very important that you do that okay so once you have done this and then the ad has um rolled and rolled and rolled and rolled and everything is fine you can just go ahead and publish your advert but let's check out the ad preview let's see how our ad looks like before we proceed okay so this is exactly how our ad will look like here this is our ad and then we click on publish and then the advert is published this is exactly how to run your first instagram ad now this is the first instagram ad that i would advise you to run as a beginner right run a visibility ad like this so that you can generate good good visibility for your account once you have done this type of ad then you can proceed to doing the sales ad now let me quickly show you exactly how to do the sales ad the sales ad is very simple like i said there are a lot of options that you can follow creating the sales ad let's click on the create now if you're going to run the sales ad one of the things you can do is to use either the engagement or the sales objective but for this one let's use the sales objective so click on sales click on continue and then just like we did previously you choose the manual sales campaign and then you click on continue okay i hope you're following me okay so once you have done this remember that there are three stages you follow that same procedure and then you click on next let's go to the ad set level now i'm i'm i mean i'm i'm taking my time on this or i'm rushing this because i previously explained everything you need to know okay so um now when we get to the ad set the conversion location for this if you don't have a website that has a pixel don't use websites please just come and use messaging apps when you use messaging apps regardless of whether you have a pixel or not it will work for you okay so click on messaging apps then what we're going to now do is come down here select your page here i'm going to just select my own page right here okay i'm going to turn off now under the messaging apps by default you will see that messenger is clicked and if your whatsapp is connected whatsapp will be connected as well but i will not advise you to run your ads to these three platforms at the same time no so what i've done here is to select only instagram so i want only instagram to receive the messages let the messages come to only instagram but if you want whatsapp turn off every other one and leave only whatsapp now if you want to now do this for the different platforms you can create multiple ads always create multiple ads if you want to achieve this um, result on different platforms so i'm going to use instagram here and then i'm scrolling down now for this type of sales ad i'm going to be spending above five thousand era daily so here i'm going to be spending seven thousand era daily because that will give me quality messages that i want to convert into sales for my business okay so i'm going to just choose seven thousand era daily here and then just like i did before i'm not choosing an end date because i like to always manually stop my advert okay so once you have done this keep the budget scheduling as well come to the location do the same thing we did previously which is lagos and then click on abuja right here okay so we click on abuja right here so i have my two locations there then the advantage plus audience like we've done before click on it and then click on the um age range so i'm going to use 23 to 45 as well like i did before okay so once i've done this then my gender is going to now be women as well and then i'll put in the detail targeting start with small business owners okay just put in the detail targeting just like we've done before okay small business and then suggestion just add a few home business um you know just add a few um a few of those uh interests okay entrepreneurship so let's say i've added all the interests that i need 
Then I'll come to the placement again. Click on the edit placement. Use manual placement. Please, it is very important. Now, by default, this placement here is going to be only Instagram. You know why? Yes, I'm sure you know why. That is because the type of advert we are running is that people should send us messages to only Instagram. So because we have said only Instagram, then of course by default the placement will be only Instagram. So that makes a lot of sense. So once we are done with this, click next right here. And then we'll, the last part of our ad again, we're going to come here to select existing posts. So once we select existing posts, come down here and then we click on select post. And then I'll select my post again. I'm going to use this post. Now, because this is a sales ad, you can use any type of post. Unlike before when it was only just videos we could use. Now, we can use, you can see here, we can use a photo. We can use a video. We can use a carousel if it is a carousel. So I'll use a video right here. And then click on continue. Now, once the video is uploaded, I am done. And ready to upload i mean ready for my ad to run so what would i be expecting from this type of ad people messaging me in my instagram i mean on my instagram dm so this is exactly how to run both your advert your first sales advert um using the inst using instagram or i've also showed you how you can run your first awareness ad using instagram as well i hope you've learned one or two things from this video if you have please subscribe to my youtube channel and also like this video so that a lot of people can see this video um, also, thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video.